products certainly don't mix, uh, well, at least not until now. The new products allow you to waterproof your device. On your side, consumer advocate Jen Strathman put them to the test. There are all sorts of products to protect your phone. There's hard and soft bumpers. There's even screen protectors. Well, now there's protection from the water, so you can do this to your electronics without having your heart race. We just can't seem to live without our electronics. They're glued to our ears or our fingers. You just have them with you constantly, so you know something's going to happen to them eventually. Water is a phone's worst enemy. Rice and heat may help dry up the moisture, but often there's nothing that can fix the damage. All around here, and then I could make my thumb go across it and it would start up, but I would get nothing on the screen. Hoping to save it, Erin Brady tore her phone apart. That one little piece right there, if they hadn't torn, I could have put it back together. Who knows if it would have worked or if the parts were already fried from just a brief second of water. It should be able to be in water more than one second before breaking. How about 30 minutes? That's the claim from the makers of this new $300 tablet. So we dunked it. The tablet comes waterproofed. Other gadgets can be waterproofed after you buy them for $60. Oh, okay. Companies like Liquify offer mail in waterproofing services for some high tech electronics. If it works, it would be a very wonderful thing for everyone to use. We put the waterproof claims to the test. Just the sight of it attracted quite a crowd. That looks pretty cool. The screen on the Pantac tablet from AT&T eventually turns off underwater. But as soon as we pulled it out and swiped our finger, it turned back on. Even dripping wet, the tablet still worked. Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, no, I can't say that I have. We also tested an iPod Shuffle, one of the devices you can waterproof aftermarket. I don't want to get wet, but we want the shuffle to get wet. We shuffled our shuffle from test to test, subjecting it to the water spritz, dump, and dunk. Testing it in between each test. At this point, your heart would be racing. And every time, it was music to our ears. I'm impressed. I think, well, if you can keep it in there for 30 minutes and it actually still works after, I'll be really impressed and be much more likely to buy it. After 30 minutes, definitely water lag. You can see the water bubble right inside there. We were still rocking out. Now, granted, a shuffle is not a phone and results may vary, but this is the latest cutting edge technology. It was introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show this year, and I expect it's going to be the next big thing. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.